Hey friends, welcome back to Gear Facts. Today we're looking at one of Roland's most honourable, innovative ideas, but ultimately one of their most embarrassing flops, the Roland EG101. Please subscribe! At the time when this hefty synth was developed, workstations were the thing. It was the late 90s, most music had a very strong electronic basis, and Roland was developing a way to integrate massive live performances with plenty of EDM sounds into a reasonably compact keyboard. Operating the EG101 is generally a nightmare, and the first mini nightmare is choosing the sound that you want to use. You've got eight buttons here, and you choose a combination of two of those eight buttons to choose the main sound. Then there's a variation switch, and you use that to choose sounds within the sound, if that makes sense. Importantly, it had a sound engine with a very strong EDM kind of vibe to it. It's got the filters that you need for that kind of music. It's got an arpeggiator, which is of course essential. Plenty of rhythms. And even a sampler. You get four banks of four samples with about a minute of total recording time. The sampler also has its own little dedicated effects unit with some very crunchy digital sounding effects. Unfortunately, you've got these little clicky little buttons here which really don't suit the methodology of sampler performance. One thing that excited me about this keyboard the first time I used it is that all of the beats are modern. There's no old marching band beats or bossa novas or foxtrots or anything like that. It's all about EDM and it's a pretty good selection. Unfortunately, most of them just don't grab me. The saving grace of the EG101 is its live capabilities. It's got real-time arranging which is very effective.
and also lots of very fancy live tricks like using the D-beam. If you want to actually record a performance with melody, you've got the simplest sequencer in the world here. It is simply two buttons, record and stop, and then playback. There's no sequence editing whatsoever, so if your performance is wrong, you just have to live with it, or delete it and start again. And after hearing a sound like that, it's worth pointing out just how loud these speakers are. They're not physically massive, but they really pump it out. On the back we've got headphones socket, outputs and inputs left and right, a mic socket for doing your samples, sustain pedal foot switch and MIDI in and out. There's a lot of combination button pressing so you will need to read the manual to access all the features and the three digit display often leaves you confused as to exactly what part of the system you're in. Ultimately though friends, the EG101 very much fits the Gearfax credo which is buy what makes you smile. If you want to buy something that's going to make you clench your fists and grind your teeth, then the EG101 is for you if you catch my drift. Thanks for watching today everyone, I look forward to seeing you on the next Gearfax video. 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 video.